What you do? Is it hourly or a salary? How long did it take you to get that? Do you feel it's enough money? Is there experience needed? Any degree needed? Metallurgist at a gold mine. How much do you sneak into your pockets? Dot and that is why they have to pay him well. To prevent crimes of opportunity. At least that sounds like the right name for it. Flame me if I'm wrong. At a gold mine? $1,000 a week isn't that well paid in today's economy for something like a gold mine emo law. I'm a machinist. I make that much as well. The question was who makes at least that much, or necessarily that exact amount. Access and reimbursement manager for a pharmaceutical company. Minimum experience is 4-6 years sales experience with 1-2 years in billing. You can bullshit this into your previous sales job even if you didn't do it and had a dedicated division in your company do it. And a degree. I exaggerated about my sales experience at a flooring store, was a customer service associate. Literally did tile returns and pointed to where people needed to go to in the store. In college to cover two years of sales then applied after two years out of college working as a medical device sales representative. Make around 3100 a week. I make over $10,000 most months as a freelance writer. That's pre-tax. I've been doing this for seven years. It definitely took a few years to build my client base and land better work. No one ever asks about my degree, but I have a bachelor's degree. My writing samples help me land additional work. This kind of career requires you to market yourself, too though. So it's more than writing. You have to be willing to look for work and put yourself out there. But I love it. Especially because of the freedom and flexibility that comes with freelancing. Edit because I'm getting a lot of questions. My niche is financial writing. Specializing has helped me significantly. So has choosing a focus with well-paying work. I would love to check out or read some of the types of samples or category you found your niche in. I write personal finance content for online publications. So the financial websites you see when you search for things like best rewards credit cards. I write that stuff. I'm gonna need a whole bunch of advice from you on how to be you please. Where to start, how best to market oneself, please and thank you. I make 2-4k a week. Take home, woman owned junk removal company. That's after I pay my guys. And I have a couple women that do jobs too, I don't do the work. I do all the booking and paperwork. 4 years in. Booking in several states now. Started in one. No degree in this field. I have a degree I don't use that I'm now paying so much for. Tired. I do go out on jobs if we have an area that needs something done. The same day, I don't lose money over laziness. I'll go myself. Some people here seem to think behind the scenes is easy. It's not. At all. Would love to have a conversation sometime if you're open to it. I own a junk removal business and am one year in, still an owner, operator. Came from the insurance industry and really enjoy what I do now. I operate Venice Junk Removal in Venice, Florida. Tia. Hey. Do you service Naples? Could probably use you if you do subcontract work. Would love to. Now that was fast. Let me know what method of communication works best for your busy scheduled thumbs up medium light skin tone. You two should show each other pics of your junk. This fucking comment right here is Bellissimo man cooking man cook. This is the good stuff. Watching women come up in blue collar work. I knew a girl in Rhode Island that owns her own porta potty gig. One woman show. Freaking rolling in cash. Thank you. I respect blue collar workers so much my husband is a contractor. Has been for 25 years. We are an American hard working blue collar family. That's awesome. The money in service industries is crazy. Crazy. Sales. By 30 was at $100,000. AVG over the past 20 years is in the low to mid six figures. Won't go hungry in sales unless you are just lazy. Some people just can't sell. It's me. I'm one of those people. Same. Problem is, I can take no for an answer. Oh okay no worries, so sorry I wasted your time. This would also be my response to a rejection. I just cry. That's how you are supposed to take it. It's the persistence that pays off. Make a note to call them in 4 months and move on. Eventually you will have a huge list that of potential customers and a days list of PPL to call every day. I highly recommend an audiobook called, The Psychology of Selling, by Brian Tracy. He breaks down the fear of rejection in a way that's really effective in eliminating it. 
I'm no longer in sales, but I do negotiate a lot and it contains a lot of really valuable life skills and lessons. Same. I hate bothering people, and I'm so sheepish when someone gets upset. I did mortgage refinance sales for 6 months, and it was the worst 6 months of my adult life. Me too, pal. I wish I could get out there and pedal some vacuum cleaners but too bad I'm socially inept. That's how I got into sales. I sold Kirby vacuum cleaners door to door on commission with no security or what the normal world would consider security. I was 24 years old and didn't know squat. I sucked at talking to people and I didn't know how to actually sell until I met this guy in Kirby that taught me everything about sales and how to sell. I did that for 5 years and watched my income grow the more experience I got and the skills I learned my first year I didn't even make 10k. But I knew I could make money in that business because I would see all the other salesmen doing it and driving fancy cars wearing nice suits and living in expensive houses. Their wives didn't work their kids went to private schools so I knew if they could do I could too I just had to learn how to sell. The next year I got to almost 27k, by my third year I was making 60k and my fourth year 90k running an area distributorship then September 11th happened and people quit opening their doors to us. My income took a slight dive but I figured it was time to move on since I had the sales skills I went and sold cars for a while then I got curious about selling houses and property and now I work in real estate, but I never will forget the Kirby business. I still miss it at times. It was a lot of fun and I felt like I could do anything. And the education I got out of it helped me to get where I am today. I could still sell those vacuum cleaners even in my middle age. Sales is probably the only job you can do without having a college degree and can climb the ladder and make some serious dough. So if you're thinking of sales but not sure start somewhere easy like Best Buy sell electronics or sell cars most car salespeople who sell cars do it through the internet. Just start where you're comfortable and learn along the way because one opportunity leads to the next. The skills are the same the product is the only thing that changes. I second this. I've only been in sales for a few years and I'm 27 so I haven't hit that 6 figure mark yet. However, people are always surprised that with no degree and only 3 years experience I'm clearing $80,000 per year at least. 30 months with a clean CDL and Walmart will pay you $110,000 starting pay. Just saying. 3-ish years for $110,000 sounds amazing. Loudly crying. Get a hazmat license and it's even more easy. My Bill used to drive diesel before he died unexpectedly. Dude made way more than 110k. Not sure how much but had more toys than me while I made $150,000 plus. Same. Commissions only come 2 or 3 times a year so a commission check can be as big as my entire base salary. Yeah sales guy at my mid-sized tech company easily close on 100k per year. Top guy last year did about 450k. For some of us it's not about being lazy, it's about the anxiety. I started doing telemarketing as my first job. I was really good at it, but the skills needed came at a great expense as an introvert. Pipeline foreman about $1,700 take home a week. Gross really tells the story of true income because everyone's deductions are wildly different. Local truck driver, after taxes, 401k, separate stock and crypto holdings. I pull $1,100 per week. Also receive pension, no match on 401k. Electrician, $1,100 a week for 40 hours and enough to have two new cars, a house, and a stay-at-home parent but not fun monies Ohio. $1,600 per week net, I work in advertising operations. My salary is $142,000 plus bonus. I'm 30. I never thought I would make this kind of money and yet I still somehow feel broke. $1,856 per week but with working only 2 days, 12 hours shifts, looking at a recent pay stub. ICU nurse, hourly $75.50 per hour. Yay it's enough money for me, and more importantly gives me flexibility. Been doing this for 14 years. Have an associate's degree and RN. 2 years prerequisites plus 2 years nursing program. I'm starting at 30. Hopefully it doesn't take me 14 years to get what you're making. Software engineer. Salary, first job out of college. Is it enough? As a single dude yay, but definitely want more to have a family. Yes, lots of experience needed. Degree not, but will help. Should I go get a degree or focus on building a portfolio? Joining a bootcamp to obtain a job? I've been coding for about 2 years and have front and back end knowledge. 
Most solid skills are in iOS development. I'm a strong proponent in that a degree is not necessary as you can easily teach yourself what they'll teach you. Sadly, a large majority of companies have not recognized this yet and do not even consider you without one. If you're able to get one, I definitely suggest that as it'll give you the best odds at getting a job. By the way it won't be easy, CS in college is very challenging so make sure this is your true passion in life and you're not just doing it for the money. Boot camps are shortcuts and many companies don't even take them seriously. I don't recommend. It's good you've been coding yourself. Personal projects, etc. will help you beat out your competition eventually.